guys and welcome back to my channel. I am back with another travel vlog and I'm actually back in Thailand but this time I'm in Krabi which is I'm pretty sure south of Thailand and I'm gonna be here for probably around two and a half weeks and then I'm heading back to Australia to be with my family for a couple of months but for now I'm in Thailand I'm by myself again another solo trip and this time I just wanted to really spend time by the beach, be in the sun, but then I realized that it's actually monsoon season here. I flew in this morning at around 9am, flew from Sri Lanka to Bangkok and then Bangkok to Krabi and I just rented this like cute little Airbnb. It's near Klong Mong Beach, something like that. It's actually a 10 minute walk to the beach, which is where I'm about to go now. 7-Eleven is just next door. There's a couple weed shops on the same street, so it's actually a really good location, but also it's not in the main area. I filmed some clips before of the cats that are chilling around the property, and I bought some cat food. I'm just going to put it in a little container with some water because they're not really fond of me just yet, and I don't want to scare them off, and I kind of want to feed them, you know, they're stray, stray cats. So that's what I'm going to do. It's a new moon today, so I've got my journal with me. I have my stickers and all that, I have my crystals, so I'm going to head to the beach, journal, probably go for a swim, set out my intentions and my goals for this new moon, and yes, really ground myself. I'm feeling really good actually, feeling healthy, feeling strong, feeling really clear minded, so that's amazing. Oh my god, there's a freaking rooster. Interruption, rooster family. So I got back from Bangkok probably about a month ago, maybe a little bit more actually, and I was just dying to come back to Thailand. So that's what I decided to do. And it was actually cheaper to fly to Thailand, get an Airbnb in Thailand, then fly to Sydney rather than flying straight from Sri Lanka to Australia. So weird. So really, I got a free holiday. Not necessarily, but in my mind, I'm trying to convince myself that it is. So my intentions for this trip is really to connect to nature, connect with myself again, and really dive deeper into my consciousness and the shadows that I still have lingering. I also want to spend a lot of time at the beach. I want to meet new people. That's on my list too. I'm so excited to be back in Thailand, like I said. I literally was here over a month ago. I'm excited to bring you guys with me, so come enjoy this little adventure. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more travel content, holistic lifestyle, yoga, gym, all that kind of thing, nutrition, everything like that, escaping the matrix. Like this video if you like the travel vlogs, comment down below, and I'm so excited to bring you guys with me, so you're so welcome in this space. Thank you for coming. So grateful for you guys and yeah, grateful to travel again and experience life by myself. So hopefully I can meet some new people. I'm a bit of an introvert, but it's only because I don't have full trust in people. I kind of get, got to get to know you first, but let's break down those walls. Let's grow, let's heal, let's do all that together. So thanks for watching. Continue watching if you want to see more and yes. Let's enjoy the day.
understand, can you tell me now? Why you made a war that was fighting now? And you fall and you run, now you see my big guns run around, run away as a rebel comes out. Now you call, call on me, when you call me, I I just got back home about 30 minutes ago and oh my god I just had the best afternoon at the beach I felt so connected to the nature and like everything and everyone the animals the water the sand there was actually one moment where the cicadas were ringing so loud and I just could feel myself like almost in a meditative state so I closed my eyes and I was grounded through the feet and the energy was just pulling up through my whole body from my feet up into the sky, just completely connected and I was just like, wow, this just felt so at peace, full of love, gratitude, presence, and I just feel full in my heart and in my soul. So I guess that was my intention to really connect to nature and myself which I did and I did some journaling for the new moon ceremony basically just wrote down how I was feeling in the moment didn't even think about it and then also what I wanted to manifest and come in to my life the things I wanted to call into my life hope everyone's having an amazing day hope everyone is just full of love and happiness and peace and if not then that's okay, you're gonna get through it. You've always gotten through it. Every single time. Stop doubting yourself. It's gonna be okay. You feel the emotions, breathe through it, and just remember to love yourself. Have gratitude, have love in your heart. When you move with love, the universe really conspires in your favor because how can you go wrong if you're moving with love and from your heart? Pure intentions and a good heart. The universe can't let you down. You've just gotta Make sure that you're healing yourself, taking care of yourself, and always aiming to be better, better person. You are, already are, you are enough, but always strive for more. You have that potential, you have unlimited potential. Everyone does. Just stick to the plan, keep loving yourself, and just believe in yourself. That's what I have to remember as well, I'm only human too, we're all human, experiencing life healing from trauma, going through grief, pain, all that. Everyone goes through the same thing. We can do this together. Everything's gonna work out. Just trust. Catch
Catch a flight, change the weather And I promise forever such a good day by the beach and had a really good workout so I'm just doing my skincare so after the beach I got a taxi to the grocery store and just picked up a few grocery items like meat and vegetables and breakfast stuff actually I did put my clothes in the cupboard so they're all on display and I ordered some food some pad thai so that's coming shortly I'm using this toner that I got in Thailand. I'm pretty sure this is a Korean brand. So I just pat that into the skin and let that dry for a second. And then I'm gonna go in with some retinol, just a few drops. And pat that into the skin. And next I'm gonna go in with some collagen. I'm just going to put these in a couple of areas and while that's soaking in I think I'm just going to do some moisturizing of my body because I'm a little bit sunburnt unfortunately. I'm using this chocolate body butter and it's all natural ingredients. It just has coconut oil, beeswax, olive oil, vitamin E and chocolate essential oils. That's it. And it honestly smells like heaven. This is what I'm trying to be smelling like 24 seven. I'm also gonna add this to like my elbows and my knees and super dry areas of my body. It's from Spa Ceylon in Sri Lanka. I forgot to put on deodorant, so I'm just gonna chuck on this natural deodorant that I got in Thailand. It's not great, but it does keep the scent away so it doesn't really smell like anything but it's all natural aloe vera next for my moisturizer at night time I just use shea butter plain old shea butter I feel like you don't need chemicals you just need natural moisturizers like maybe coconut oil but I like shea butter because it's thicker and it just really moisturizes my skin all night, even when I'm rolling around all over the pillow. Remember to wash your pillowcases too, ladies and men. So I just basically rub that all over until I'm a massive grease ball. But that is the goal. 
Next for the eye cream, I'm going to use this caffeine solution just under my eyes real quick. That. I'm going to add this night cream that I got in Thailand as well. Like that. Perfect. And dab that in. Now the skincare is all done. She's looking like a glazed donut. That's the goal. And I just let that soak all night. And it's really good for my skin, honestly. I haven't had a breakout in a minute, but I will say my diet's been on point. So just remember that everything that you put into your body, your cells regenerate. So if you're eating like crap, your skin is gonna be like crap. I'm gonna put some oils in my hair as well. This is from Sri Lanka. It's basically just a natural oil. I basically just use the tiniest bit in my palm, rub it on my fingertips and just put it in my roots real quick. And then I'm just gonna add some into my ends as well. Now I'm all oiled up and ready to just chill. My food's on its way almost here. I'm gonna eat some dinner, watch a movie and get some work done. So that's the plan for Friday. Good morning, today is Saturday and I already went for a little run and did some core at the beach, stretched a little bit as well and now just working for a couple hours. I got the scooter dropped off this morning but honestly I'm really not that confident riding it. I feel like I'm just going to fall off. I did rent a scooter last time I was in Thailand in 2019 and I fell off so I have this fear inside me and I don't really have much confidence, honestly. So I'm not sure what to do at this point because transport from this location is a bit of an issue. I'm thinking I'm probably gonna rent a car. That's my best option. But then I'm probably gonna be out of pocket around $200 for, you know, not even a week. So I'm in a bit of a pickle right now, honestly a little bit down because of it because I really wanted to be able to ride it but I'm sure if I keep practicing but at the same time I'm not trying to risk falling off and just one embarrassing myself and two hurting myself like just don't want that for myself. So still trying to figure that out today. I'm going to make some breakfast now because I'm starving. I'm going to make a little fruit bowl and just get my mind right. It's the afternoon and I'm feeling much better. I finished work and sorted out my dilemma. So I realized the bike is way too big for me. I physically can't ride it. It's too heavy for me and it's borderline motorcycle vibes. So I decided I'm going to rent a car for about five days until I go to my next location. It's just going to be much easier getting around. I can throw my things in the boot or the trunk, whatever you want to call it. And I can just get around how I want. And I feel much safer in a car. So that's the plan. I love to drive, so it's convenient for me. And I don't have to worry about walking everywhere. I can just drive. And the roads are so chill here, so it's really not a big deal. I'm just getting ready, doing my skincare, doing a little bit of makeup, and I'm gonna head to the beach. Just chill there all day, trying to get a little bit of a tan, and just relax. The car's getting dropped off tomorrow, so 
It's about $165 for five days, which isn't too bad. I mean, what other choice do I have? I love this sunscreen. It's organic. Got it from Amazon. Actually, my boyfriend got it for me. And it just smells good. It doesn't get all sticky. It doesn't really sweat off. It's very lightweight. It doesn't leave like a white sheen either. Other than the scooter situation, I'm really feeling good, but excited to leave the house, get into the sun and excited to have a car so I can move around and do whatever I want to do and explore this beautiful place. Doesn't make sense now. Shit just got real, things are getting intense now. I hear you talking about we a lot, or you speak French now. Giving me the sign, so I gotta take a hit now. I hate you look like, who you wanna hang right now? On the east side, ain't no one with the thing right now. You say, do I wanna watch? Do I know what time it is right now? Hey guys, it's now Sunday and I just finished getting ready. I work this morning and just took some photos for Instagram. The car got dropped off this morning as well, so I paid for that and I'm so excited to drive around and have more freedom. I'm about to head to Ao Nang, which is about 15 minutes away. It's a little beach town, basically the main beach town around this area. I'm gonna head to a bar, maybe get a drink and some food and also do some shopping in the markets. So that's the plan for today. It's super hot. I'm going to put my hair up for sure because this is just not an option. Should be an exciting day, so come along with me. Whip, it, whip, got it, die on it. Did I ever ask you to take me to go shopping in Perry or go sailing overseas and just drape me in Gucci? No. All I ever asked was you to pick up the phone when you were alone All I ever asked was you to show me some love, kisses and hugs No, I never had an issue, go to the club with your boys, baby I never wanted you to stay too long, just wanted you to show me up So won't you say my name, say my name If you claim you want me Playing games, playing games